Hello and welcome. Today we'll be walking through how to download and configure the Compass JDBC driver so you can query the Infor Data Lake directly using your local development tools and environments. But before we dive in, make sure you hit the subscribe button on the Infor OS YouTube channel where we share helpful videos about the Infor Data Fabric and other features across the Infor OS technology platform. Now, once you've uploaded data into your object storage repository within the Infor Data Lake, the Compass Query platform provides several ways to run SQL queries against your data. You can access SQL interfaces through RESTful APIs, the Compass Query Editor in your browser, or, as we'll focus on today, using conventional database drivers to equip a local data environment in order to query the Infor Data Lake. This allows you to connect to your local tools like database managers, ETL tools, or third-party reporting and analytics software directly to the Infor Data Lake. Before we start, ensure you have the Java JDK version 8 or higher installed, such as Amazon Coretto, a local database manager. Today we'll be using dBeaver. And finally, we will walk through how to set up the Compass JDBC driver configure our authorized application, and acquire our security credentials file, which our local client will use to authenticate against the Infor cloud. You'll also want to visit docs.infor.com and refer to the Infor Data Fabric user guide for additional details about the Compass JDBC driver and the Infor Data Lake as well as the dev portal at developer.infor.com for additional tutorials and design guides. So now, let's start heading to the Infor OS platform. Navigate to Data Fabric, and under Data Lake is where you'll find the Compass Query Editor. The Compass Query Editor is a fantastic tool for prototyping queries directly against the Data Lake. As in this example, in which we can run a quick query, it's helpful to identify any issues with SQL syntax or structure before running those queries in your local tools. But how do we connect external tools to the data lake? That's where the JDBC driver comes in. To begin, navigate to the configuration, then download section in ION. Download the local copy of the Compass JDBC driver from here, as it is always up to date for your Infor OS tenant. Next, we'll need to set up an authorized application within the API Gateway. Go to the API Gateway tab then Authorized Apps and create a new application. I'll name it Infor Compass JDBC Driver. Select the Backend Service option and then use the same name for the description. Save the changes. Now we'll download the credentials file, which will be our ION API file. Make sure to check the Create Service Account option and enter your IFS username. This service account will impersonate your user when connecting to the Infor cloud. After clicking download, you should now have two files, the ION API file for authentication and the JDBC driver zip file we downloaded earlier. So now that we have both files downloaded, we'll navigate over to our file directory on our local machine and unpack the JDBC driver zip file and locate the jar file. This file is crucial for connecting to the data lake. Next, we'll create a folder on the local machine. For example, we will call it Infor Data Lake and copy both the jar file and the ION API credentials file into the same folder. Now with our files ready, let's configure the JDBC driver in dBeaver. First, under Database, we will open the Driver Manager in dBeaver and create a new driver entry. Then, name it Infor Data Lake and keep the driver type generic. Set the class name to com.infor.idl.jdbc.driver with a capital D. And for the URL template, enter the following with your tenant name jdbc colon infor data lake colon forward slash forward slash tenant name.
To connect to the Infor data lake, upload the jar file we copied earlier and add the directory containing your ION API credentials file. This folder allows dBeaver to authenticate with the Infor cloud. Once configured, click OK to save your changes. Now we'll create a new connection in dBeaver using the driver we just configured. Search and select the Infor Data Lake driver from the list. Next, we'll leave the username and password fields blank since authentication is handled through the ION API credentials file. Click Finish and you will see the new connection in the Navigator panel. Expand your connection, and under the default schema, you'll see all the tables and schemas available in the Infor Data Catalog. To test this, let's copy the query from the Compass Query Editor earlier in Data Fabric and run it in dBeaver. Paste the query and execute. You'll see the results return directly from the Infor Data Lake. And that's it. You've successfully set up the Compass dBeaver driver and can now use it with local development tools, ETL applications, or even custom built solutions. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials and resources, remember to check out the developer portal and to connect to the Infor community. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the Infor YouTube channel for future content.